हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ए पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर हरीन राम सैरी फ्राम किरोडीमल कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ मॉड्यूल कॉम्यूनिटी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक टाइप ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी डाइवर्सिटी इंडेक्स एबेंडेंस स्पीसीस रिचनेस वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजेंटल स्टर्टिफिकेशन पार्ट थर्ड वेर एम आई एम स्पेशली डिस्कस अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ कॉम्यूनिटी from paper a principle of ecology after studying this module you shall be able to understand the structure of community briefly study the physical and biological structure of community study the vertical and horizontal zonation stratification of community and the diversity indices understand the role of species richness dominance and diversity in characterizing a community learn about the characteristic of community such as eco turn and edge effect etc community is an organized ecological unit in which organism interact through various associations such as predation competition mutualism and parasitism likely to each other via feeding relationship and other adapted to prevailing physical environmental surroundings these interaction associations and adaptations by the organism provided community is its distinct structure and influence other characteristic such as growth developments of the community dominance and species diversity structure of community the basic structure of community is divided into physical and biological structure the physical structure of community is defined by the growth forms and life forms physical structure growth form and life form the structure and form of vegetation define the differences between different terrestrial communities on the basis of growth forms the vegetation of community can be classified plant community can be exhibited different growth forms such as short or tall plants woody or herbaceous plants or deciduous or evergreen plants the herb shrubs and trees are further subdivided these categorizes into evergreen sclerophylls needle leafed evergreen thorn trees broad leafed evergreen or broad leaved deciduous trees dwarf shrubs shrubs grasses ferns mosses lichens and forbs the plants are also classified on the basis of life forms by christian raunecker 1903 he is a danish botanist who defined the life form on the basis of pertaining tissue above ground or simply height of the plant he suggested that in a given area all the species are grouped into six principal classes of life forms namely epiphytes phanerophytes cameophytes hemio hemicryptophytes cryptophytes and therophytes a community consists consisting mostly of phanerophytes are categorized by warm climate where when mostly comprised of hemicryptophytes and cameophytes are categorized by cold climate stratification the ecological communities are arranged in different layer or strata forms a phenomenon called stratification for example in a natural forest community as per the height of the plant the community is arranged into number of strata or layers such as herbaceous layer consisting of herbaceous plant followed by shrub smaller trees and tall trees this fractions in the community is caused by the grade gradations in the external environmental factors like water levels temperature and light different strata or layer of forest community 
receive different degree of light intensity providing vertical stratification to the community structure. In a forest community, generally three or more vertically layers or strata of plants are found including a herb layer, serb, small tree layer followed by canopy tree layer. The canopy tree or other taller trees produces more foliage and entrap the light to each smaller plants on the ground. The gradients in the physical environment of the community cause horizontal layering or patterns among species. Differences in the amount of factors such as nutrients and waters and significantly alter the distribution of plant and animal species over a reason. A community consists of different growth form determining the community structure such as herbs, serve trees. A growth form also have variations such as a tree can be long leaved or broad leaved etc. Various growth form have different mode of arrangement classifying community into vertical stratification and horizontal zonation. That is populations assemble to form communities and these populations are dispersed into definite vertical or horizontal strata. Zonation The septal arrangement of community species exhibit patterns and based on these patterns the community is divided into sub-communities which are ecologically related. If the distribution pattern is horizontal it is called zonation layering in community. For example in lakes or deep ponds majorly three zones are recognized that is littoral, limnetic, photic or open water and profondal zone aphotic and deep water. The organism varies in each zone of zonation pattern. Another example include mountain associated vegetation. Altitudinal and latitudinal variations of vegetation is relation to climate of the existing reason. This figure represent a deep lake depicting a horizontal zonation. This figure represent a mountain depicting a horizontal zonation. Vertical stratification. Vertical changes in pattern of community structure is called as stratification. Vertical stratification is as a simple as the horizontal zonation community of pond where each zone has different vertical story or complex stratification. For example, in grassland communities, distinct floor with a different yet characteristics growth form are exhibited. The lowest vertical subdivision is called subterranean beneath the soil. Subterranean, which include roots of the plant, debris and living organism like soil, bacterium, protozoa or fungi etc. Herbaceous subterium above the soil with roots of growth forms, the herbaceous substratum uh, includes upper parts of growth forms. The forest community stratification is more, much more complex with five vertical layering include the vertical stratification in the forest community mostly comprised of following strata. Subterranean forest floor with the upper part of the growth form along with the lighters, fungi, bacteria etc. Herbaceous vegetation, serbs and forest strata canopy. An additional stratum called emergent trees which are present in the tropical rainforest and these plants rises above the canopy of the forest. This figure represents vertical stratification in a forest community. Forest animals live in different substrata and many of them may shift between substratums. The properties requirement adjustment of one stratum can be similar to the same stratum of different community somewhere else in the world. For example, forest floor of one community in country 
वन सेयर कॉमन रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड एडजस्टमेंट टू द कम्युनिटी इन कंट्री टू एल दो दीज कंट्रीज आर जोग्राफिकली सेपरेटेड द एनिमल्स लिविंग सच जोग्राफिकली सेपरेटेड बट सिमिलर सबस्टेटम आर कॉल्ड इकोलॉजिकल इक्विवलेंट बायोलॉजिकल स्ट्रक्चर एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ कम्युनिटी अ कम्युनिटी हैज़ द फॉलोइंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक नंबर फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कम्युनिटी द फ्रिक्वेंसी डेंसिटी एंड एबंडेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्पीसीज आर मेजर्ड नंबर सेकेंड डोमिनेंस द कम्युनिटी टाइप इज डिटरमाइन बाय द डोमिनेट स्पीसीज दीज स्पीसीज ऑफ वन और मोर टाइप आइदर ऑक्यूपाइड लार्ज स्पेस और अकर इन लार्ज नंबर एंड कॉल्ड एज डोमिनेंट स्पीसीज नंबर थर्ड डाइवर्सिटी द कम्युनिटी सो डाइवर्सिटी विच इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ डिफरेंट स्पीसीज ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स इन द डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स डेट मे बी बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट ग्रोथ फॉर्म्स और लाइफ फॉर्म्स एंड आर इसेंशियली प्रिवेलिंग इन यूनिफॉर्म एनवायरमेंटल सराउंडिंग्स डाइवर्स कम्युनिटीज आर हेल्थी एंड स्टेबल कम्युनिटीज नंबर फोर्थ पीरियडिसिटी द डोमिनेंट स्पीसीज ऑफ कम्युनिटी आर स्टडीड इन वेरियस सीजन्स ऑफ द ईयर टू डिटरमाइन द वेरियस लाइफ प्रोसेस सच एज रिप्रोडक्शन ग्रोथ एंड रिस्पायरेशन पीरियडिसिटी इज डिफाइंड एज द एक्सप्रेशन एंड रीअक्रेंस ऑफ वेरियस लाइफ प्रोसेस एनुअली एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स इन नेचर ई स्टेटिफिकेशन विद इन इकोलॉजिकल कम्युनिटीज द हैबिटेड अरेंजमेंट इन फॉर्म ऑफ लेयरिंग आइदर वर्टिकल और हॉरिजेंटल इज कॉल्ड स्टेटिफिकेशन द स्टेटिफिकेशन ऑफ टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कम्युनिटीज मे बी डिफर सच एज द लेक कम्युनिटी रिप्रजेंट हॉरिजेंटल स्टेटिफिकेशन वेस माउंटेन प्लांट कम्युनिटीज ऑफ ए वर्टिकल स्टेटिफिकेशन एफ इकोटोन एंड एज इफेक्ट इकोटोन्स आर इजली रिकोगनाइजेबल मार्जिनल जोन्स ऑफ वेजिटेशंस सेपरेटिंग टू डिस्टिंग टाइप ऑफ कम्युनिटीज द स्पीसीज डाइवर्सिटी इज ग्रेटर इन द इकोटोन इन द कंपेरिजन टू द एडजस्टेंट कम्युनिटीज दिस फिनोम ऑफ ग्रेटर इंटेंसिटी एंड डाइवर्सिटी एट द कॉमन जंक्शन इज डिफाइंड एज एज इफेक्ट जी इकोलॉजिकल नेच इकोलॉजिकल नेच इज डिफाइंड एज द रोल और फंक्शन ऑफ स्पीसीज इन प्ले इन इट्स इको सिस्टम इन द इकोलॉजिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स डिफरेंट प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट स्पीसीज डिफर इन देयर फंक्शन एंड देयर कम्बाइंड इंट्रैक्शन विद अदर स्पीसीज इन इट्स एनवायरमेंट आर कॉल्ड इट्स इकोलॉजिकल नेच इन अदर वर्ड्स इट कैन एल्सो बी डिफाइंड एज द स्मॉलर हैबिटेड of single species within a large habitat in which it survives ep odum defines and differentiate ecological niche and habitat by saying that ecological niche is the profession of the species within the ecosystem where the habitat is its address h community productivity community productivity is defined as the net storage of energy and production of biomass per unit time by the community i biotic stability biotic stability is the ability of community to regain its equilibrium followed by disturbances causing population fluctuations the stability of community is directly dependent on the diversity of the community in 1994 crabs categorized communities into five char- characteristic that can be studied namely growth forms and life forms described earlier in section species richness dominance relative abundance and tropic structure other major type of factors that constitute the structure of the community are as follows species richness species richness is given as a number of species in a community in an ecological habitat landscape or community the count of different species represents the species richness it does not indicates about the species abundance or relative abundance of species for example beetles counted from a pitfall trap etc 
सैंपल हेट्रोजेनिटी एंड द नंबर ऑफ स्पीसीज इन्फ्लुएंस द स्पीसीज रिचनेस इफ द सैंपल्स आर कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम डिफरेंट इन्वायरमेंट एंड हैबिटेट्स देन द कलेक्टेड डाटा इज हायर फॉर स्पीसीज रिचनेस दस सैम्पलिंग शुड बी परफॉर्म्ड ऑन द लार्ज एरियाज एज द मोर हेट्रोजीनियस इन्वायरमेंट प्रिवेल्स एंड लार्ज साइज ऑफ पॉपुलेशन स्पीसीज रिचनेस हेल्प्स इन assigning the conservation values of landscape or habitat by relative comparisons although it does not consider the type of species but areas with the rare species have higher conservation values than same number of species which are commonly found species diversity the major biodiversity measurements are species richness senner venner index and simpson index species diversity comprised of two factor species evenness and species richness number of species species evenness indicates the relative abundance of each species in this figure represent community first and community second both communities have three different types of plant species depicting same species richness but relative abundance vary in community first species a b and c are equal in proportion 3 each indicating higher species evenness thus reveal higher species diversity in community second species c is more in proportion indicating low species evenness and species diversity diversity indices in a given community the species of diversity can be measured mathematically by the diversity index the measurement of diversity index is dependent on the species abundance and species richness the species abundance is given as the number of organisms per species and the species richness in a given as the number of species in the community information statistics indices and dominances indices are the two way of diversity indices given as a senen index and simpson index respectively the equation for the two indices are given as senner venner index it's a common index of species diversity represented as h not equal to minus summation s start from i is equal to 1 pi log e pi where large or capital n total number of individuals found where small n is individuals of one particular species found a small p is equal to small n divided by capital n which means individuals of one particular species found divided by total number of individuals found summation is sum of the calculation h not means diversity index the proportion of ith species is represented as pi while small s is species richness that is number of species in community simpson index this equation is represented as follows where capital n is total number of individual in ith species small n is individuals of one particular ith species small p is equal to small n divided by capital n the senen index is based on the assumptions the samples are randomly collected and all species are represented in that randomly collected sample it's an information static index the simpson index is majorly dependent on the dominant or common species and thus it's a dominance index in this type of index rare species in less number with only few representatives do not produce any significant differences in the measurement of diversity in 1949 edward h simpson introduced simpson index which measures the extent of 
concentration when organisms are classified. In 1950, Oris C. Herfrendel rediscovered the same index. In 1945, Albert O. Hertzman already introduced the square root of the index. Therefore, the Simpson index in ecology is also called as Herfrendel Hertzman index or Herfrendel index in economics. Guinea Simpson index. In contrast to the probabilities of some same type of entities taken at the random in the original Simpson index lambda, the Guinea Simpson index 1 minus lambda represent its transformation that equals that probability of two entities corresponding to different type. In ecology, it is also called as PIE or probability of interspecific encounter. The equation is expressed as follows. Dominance. In a community, different species interact among themselves and in some communities, the interaction result results into dominance by the one species or by the prominent species in a group. The organism dominating other are referred as dominants. In ecology, the proportion of biomass or abundance of one species or taxon then other interacting species or taxon is uh, in a community. It's the dominant species that define the ecological community. For example, Alnus glutinosa, elder, is the tree dominating in the Western Europe woodland areas. They are used to classify or identify the type of ecology. In a community, we can consider a community as dominant on the basis of following. Either they are occupying maximum space or community habited or have highest biomass or play critical role in nutrient cycling. Contribute maximum to energy flow or regulate other community organisms. Sometimes numerically abundant means more in number makes organisms superior and dominant but not necessarily always. Microclimate within the community also affect and complicate this system by contributing more dominant species per microclimate. Microclimates have local environment differences like nutrient levels, moisture, topographic, location, etc. It's only how impactful and important functions a species play in shaping the structure and function of community which decided its dominance. Sometimes even low density group of species also single species can be dominant. Keystone species Dominant species, plant or animals playing crucial and unique role in high effective community structure and function in relative to its abundance are called keystone species. These keystone species have very intense interspecies association thus control the number and type of other species in community. Therefore, if we remove keystone species, the community will shift to new form dramatically and vary from its original structure and function. A classical example of keystone species is Pastor oraceus, a starfish. This starfish is a keystone predator and the only the natural predator of musels, sea urchins and many other selfishes. So if we remove starfish, the musels or sea urchin population will proliferate in an uncontrolled manner shifting the community. Another example includes a prey predator system where small predator like we will E. lecotini which forage on herbaceous species called E. watermi foil. E. watermi foil can eliminate dominant plant species of the inhabited community but it's the predator E. lecotini 
which control e water me foil from doing so by feeding on it e water me foil prey number is less thus required low density of predator e water me foil but if predator is eliminated out the community the prey will be outgrow in number dramatically thereby vanishing the dominant species of community and thus by eliminating the small number of predator the community character will now be altered without its actual dominant species this example indicates the that dominant species directly control the community character but keystone species indirectly until the community character several approaches are used to determine the ecological dominance if a sample is collected from a large area then the individuals of a species found in large number represent the abundance of species and its distribution with ecosystem is called as relative species abundances relative abundance when the total abundance of all organisms is compared to numerically abundant one species it is called as species relative abundance if a sample is correct, collected from a large area then the individuals of a species found in a large number represents the abundance of species and its distribution within ecosystem is called as relative species abundances relative dominance dominance among same size species can be measured by occupying a species to a entire area of community relative frequency among different sized species the dominance is measured by relative frequency all these three measurements summed up to provide an important value to each species these values of species rank them in a list and index species are the species with high level of important value sporadically locally abundant the frequency of species occurrence in all samples is termed as incidence incidence which related to abundance if the incidence or frequency is low but the abundance of species in sample is high it is called sporadically abundant how to measure and calculate relative species abundance there are several kind of sampling methods such as track count spot light count monitoring point pressure rod kill count and plant cover for plant species etc and the relative abundance of the community is calculated as relative abundance of species is equal to number of species from one sampling divided by total number of species of all sampling ecotone the two integrating community meets at a transitional area called ecotone or transitional zone the transitional transition area between ecosystems like grassland and forest form ecologic regional ecotone and between forest and field form a local ecotone which can be wide or narrow this ecotone may appear as clear boundaries with homogeneous surfaces or in gradual blending forms between two communities formation of ecotone when physical environment changes example from forest to clean land a clear and sharp interface is created between two communities moreover gradual blended interface form between unique local species and species common to both interacting community found together for example in mountain ranges most wetlands are ecotones example woodlands of western europe type of ecotone halocline gradient salinity thermocline gradient in temperature picocline water density gradient chemocline chemical gradient this figure represent different form of ecotones 
features a sar vegetation transition for example changes in grass color indicates an ecotone physiogamy a key indicator of ecotone where the plant species differ in physical appearance change in species in indicators of ecotone where we observed some specific organism at one side of the ecotone boundary while some other specific organism on the other side septal mass effect new plant establishment or migration obscures an ecotone as they cannot form self sustaining population and different ecotone but if survives between two communities then species richness is exhibited by the ecotone an ecotone can reveal the space sharing efficiency of two communities and the types of biomes by observing the exotic species abundance in ecotone best model to study diverse ecosystem shift in dominance represented by ecotone ecotone act as an ecological niche for the species colonizing at the junction called edge effect eco climbs a physical transition zone between biological systems termed as eco line related to ecotone it depicts the physiochemical environmental changes micro uh, climatically or chemically signaling an ecotone via signal such as gradient of hydrothermal salinity or ph respectively edge effects in ecology ecotone exhibit changes in population constituting community structure allowing for greater biodiversity at the boundaries of the merged habitats and this is called as edge effects when two habitats are separated by vice edge effect called ecotone then they develop their own type of vegetation and environmental conditions types of edge effects narrow edge effects abrupt ending of one habitat from where another habitat began is a narrow edge effect wide range effect significant distance between two habitats is exhibited as wide edge effect or ecotone induced edge effect the structural changes are induced over time either by the human interference or natural disturbances example fire and leads to induced edge effect inherent edge effect the border between two habitats are separated and stabilized by natural features are called as inherent edge effect perforate edge effect the distance between two habitats has gaps in them which help in assisting other habitats convoluted edge effect a non linear division of two habitats leads to convoluted edge effect edge effect on succession when vegetation spreads the succession is affected by edge effects different species colonizes to central portion or to the edge leading to different species distribution with the changes in orientation the edge also changes thus participating in different vegetation patterns other structural factors may include seasonal and diurnal fluctuations with space and time the population fluctuates in the communities pattern diversity community is organized on the basis of pattern diversity the patterns can be horizontal segregation or vertical stratification etc so student let us summarized what we learn in this module the interaction associations and adaptation adaptation by the organism provide community its distinct structure and influence other characteristic such as growth and development of the community dominance and species diversity the basic structure of community is divided into physical and biological structure
द फिजिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कम्युनिटी इज डिफाइंड बाय द ग्रोथ फॉर्म एंड लाइफ फॉर्म्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ग्रोथ फॉर्म्स द वेजिटेशन ऑफ कम्युनिटी कैन बी क्लासिफाइड प्लांट कम्युनिटी में एग्जिबिटेड डिफरेंट ग्रोथ फॉर्म सच है शॉर्ट और टॉल प्लांट्स वोडी और हर्बेसियस प्लांट्स और डेसीडियस और एवरग्रीन प्लांट्स द प्लांट्स आर एल्सो क्लासीफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लाइफ फॉर्म्स क्लासीफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ परटेनिंग टिश्यू एवोब ग्राउंड और सिंपली हाइट ऑफ द प्लांट All the species are grouped into six principal classes of life forms, namely epiphytes, phrenophytes, cameophytes, hemicryptophytes, cryptophytes, and therophytes. The ecological communities are arranged in different layer or strata form a phenomenon called stratification. This fractionation. in the community is caused by the gradation in the external environmental factors like water level temperature and light different strata or layer of forest community receive different degree of life intensity providing vertical stratification to the community structure the gradients in the physical environment of the community causes horizontal layering or patterns among species differences in the amount of factors such as nutrients and water can significantly alter the distribution of plant and animal species over a uh, region various growth forms have different mode of arrangement classifying community into vertical stratification and horizontal zonation that is population assembled to form communities and these populations are dispersed into def definite vertical or horizontal strata if the distribu distribution pattern is horizontal it's called zonation layering in community for example in lakes or deep ponds majorly three zone zones are recognized littoral limnetic fortic or open water and profondal zone aphotic or deep water vertical stratification is as simple as horizontal zonation where each zone has different particular story or complex stratification the forest community stratification is much more complex with five vertical layering including the vertical stratification in the forest community mostly comprised of falling strata subterranean forest floor with the upper part of the growth form along with the later fungi bacteria etc herbaceous vegetation serves and forest strata canopy the biological structure of the community is characterized by the factors such as species richness dominance relative abundance ecotone and edge effects species richness is a give, given as a number of species in a community sample heterogeneity genity and the number of species influence the species richness species diversity comprised two factors species evenness and species richness number of species and species evenness indicates the relative abundance of each species in a community different species interacts among themselves and in some communities the interaction results into dominance by the one species or by the prominent species in a group the organism dominating other are referred as dominants dominant species plant animals playing the crucial and unique role and highly effect effect community structure and function in relative to its abundance are called keystone species 
if a simple a sample is collected from a large area then the individual of a species found in a large number represent the abundance of a species and the, its distribution within the ecosystem called as relative species abundances abundances to integrating community meets at the transitional area called ecotone this ecotone may appear as a clear boundaries with homogeneous surfaces or in a gradual blending forms between two communities in ecology ecotone exhibit changes in population constituting community structure allowing for the greater biodiversity at the boundaries of the emerged habitats and this is called as as effects